<laughs> so, so. Well, welcome back, my beautiful people. We are in the year 1326 for our Ultimate Decades Challenge with the Squire family. And if you are just catching up, it has been wild. We have been through some things recently. The main thing that we are currently dealing with is Harmony and Runar's son has gotten himself into some um, <laughs> less than ideal circumstances. Uh, that would be Sawyer. He is no longer living here. We are now with our third generation heir, Edward. He just recently aged into a child, but he is going along pretty well. He's feeling much better now that he has eaten his breakfast, and we're going to have him practice his letters. Folk here is the only one in the house who had a little bit of training on how to write and read and things like that when he was serving as a page when he was a teenager. So he is teaching his kiddos, but right now just the only one old enough really is Mr. Edward. So he's teaching Edward how to read, hoping to kind of give them a little bit of an extra boost in life. Oh, ho, ho, so cute. What's wrong? Why are you sad? Anyway, that is what we are currently doing here in this household. We are going to have Elfrida and Elwine's birthday during this year. Towards the end, though, it'll be the last day of this year. Uh, they are four days away from their birthday. Those are all spoiled, so we'll just... How does a toddler have eggs? All right, here I, I am just really inserting know. the clip of rolling for Daisy, which we forgot to do during the last episode what I forgot to do during the last episode. So we're going to roll for her right now. She has to avoid a one and a 10. And she rolled a 19. So Daisy will survive and we will be able to continue that storyline and see what happens. As far as I know, none of our Sims are currently pregnant. Like, not even in the side households. Lassie and Folk have not successfully gotten pregnant in a while, so we are going to do a woohoo while we are all feeling decent. Okay, does this child need a bath? Yes, that child needs a bath. Harmony, you currently have her, so why don't you give her a bath? That would be so helpful, beautiful. Don't put her down. Give her a freaking bath. Oh my god, and it disappeared! Uh -huh. This is so annoying! Literally, she was holding the child, and I asked her to give the child a bath. Like, doesn't require sitting them down. I honestly think I have figured out what the problem is, and it's been the same with toddlers since the day they added them to the game. They have this mechanic where the parent asks the child first. So, like, she's already holding her. She sets her down to ask her, although she didn't follow through and do what I asked her to do anyway. But, and that interferes in, it just makes it a longer thing. So, when you're done there, you're going to potty train her as well. Okay. Did you guys do the woohoo? Yes? Was it good? Okay, good. I'm happy for you. Okay, someone's got to do some gardening. Oh, boy. All right. Let's uh, weed, and you will harvest. What a beautiful setting. Cute. Okay, can you go ahead and get stung, please? Because we all know that's what's about to happen. You have no relationship with these bees, so good luck. Good luck, love. Oh. She didn't really get stung. Cool, cool. Uh, harvest, 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 harvest. Keep harvesting. 
Harmony usually harvests. She's collecting. She's too uncomfortable. She needs some lotion on her skin. That's part of the preteen mod, and it kind of annoys me if we're being honest. Because you have to go all the way in here and apply lotion. She's still potty training that child. Oh, Hux is doing homework, so apparently Edward is teaching him the ropes as well. I suppose we could actually get him homework to work on instead of just the journal. Folk learned when he was a teenager. Alright, I'm sure we have laundry to do. Uh, actually, not bad at the moment. It's almost 6 p.m. I actually think one of our goals is going to be... Um... No! That wasn't supposed to happen! We are going to manually, when you're like 50, maybe. Although, I don't know. I don't know if he would actually, like, look that age. You know? Alright. I don't know what's up with all that nonsense. Oh, line. Oh, I wanted him to play and he didn't. He is too sleepy, so let's let him sleep. Oh, yes, we have to do chicken care. All the kids are extremely tired. All right, we need to clean the coop. Clean the coop. You can collect the eggs. And scatter some food. And you're going to... Trade for some mullions. Let's do you and you. So we're trying to get rid of two roosters. Bye bye. Or yes. All right, Hux, why don't you go ahead and clean this because they're very upset at their lives right now. Let's just get rid of the roosters. I really do want to take care of Rune. I'm just not 100% sure. Because, like, they're kind of hiding in plain sight right now, living with Mare. Um, they obviously had to kind of keep their relationship on the down low. So, I don't know. If you're just joining us, Rune... Rune... Rune oh my gosh. Rune. Rune is one of our sons who had a really, really rough time growing up. His twin brother passed away and their mom actually died in childbirth, giving birth to them. So, he grew up and quickly realized that he was definitely not going to fit into this traditional life that his family is leading and he also discovered that he has a preference for other male sims which of course is not socially acceptable during this time so he went to live with his sister who is kind of a little bit of a rebel some believe she is a witch and she may or may not have some interesting interests in that area so he went to live with her knowing that she would be more accepting of him and he is currently in a relationship with a gentleman named john so rune and john are currently living with mare uh but this is rune he's gonna be having a birthday and it's probably also overdue but we are slowly getting them all caught up. Uh, Rune is probably going to be... Maybe we'll make that our goal for the next episode. Unless something crazy happens that we are going to need to address of you know more importance next time. But his story is kind of up in the air. I think I want them to finally leave and kind of settle on their own. 
but I don't know if that makes sense. I think they might be more safe with Mare. However, Mare's kind of pushing it. So I was thinking that maybe Rune's like, you know, she's going to get us noticed by doing everything that she's doing. Maybe we need to leave and find our own place to stay. Harmony and Huxley have a supportive family dynamic. Both Sims will actively provide affection and compliments to each other. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So Edward is stressed out. Edward usually, usually respects the authority of his older family members and follows the rules. But the high expectations that come with such a good reputation can be very stressful at times. Oh, bud. Oh, look at you go. Oh, we have the tax man to pay. We have to pay the tax man. Are you getting tired yet? Sort of, but not really. Let's play symbols with Hux. Or not, because Huxley is not available. <laughs> it's 1019. I was going to invite Henry over, but... Too bad, so sad. It's too late. I don't know. This game's weird. Huh. Cool. That must be one of the mods. Twice this week. Is it really a coincidence from checking the tournament results? Sir James has been King's favorite recently. And since the tournament began, he never lost a duel. Isn't it too convenient? Anyway, it's good. I didn't bet. Oh, girl. We don't have the money to bet, so it is indeed. Whoa, bro, you need to take care of yourself. Let's use the potty, take a bath. Harmony, harmony, harmony. I really want her and Runar to be able to woohoo, but... <laughs> Where is he passed out? Why? Runar, what are you doing? Why are you passed out in folks' room? Don't be weird. Uh-oh. Oh, something happened when he was hunting. He's exhausted and has aches and pains. Chasing down that game has made Runar's body ache. Buddy. Hux, you can sleep over here tonight. Give mo your mom and dad some time alone in their cabin. Even though he didn't even make it to his bed from upstairs he just passed out just just like that okay we're gonna put these out then you know it adds to the the visuals he keeps getting these headphones they all keep getting headphones runar i'm just trying to get you to bed buddy like are you going to make it from there to your bed are you okay don't pass out again, please. Oh, maybe Runar's getting too advanced in years to really hunt anymore. Oh, my. He got out of bed to pass out. He's going to pass out after he was laying in the bed. This game sometimes truly, truly grinds my gears get in your bed and go to sleep don't you dare get out of that bed to pass out again <sighs> folky you're the only one awake let's sleep my dude he putting this stuff just randomly in the air elfrida <laughs> is she just now taking the kid that took an unnecessary amount of time. Totally unnecessary amount of time. Alright. You're going to ask her. She's going to stop with that one. Quit being bad. Playful mess. Making a mess can be so much fun. Meh, 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 meh. Whatever. Girl, potty train your child. Let's go. Love 
Let me guess. She needs to take a bath. All right, let's get Runar sorted out here. Grab something to eat and then take a shower. Almost wonder if maybe he'd like to spend some time by himself. Or maybe he'll take Edward this time. Edward hasn't got a chance to fish at all yet, so maybe that would be a good idea. I don't really know where we can catch different types of fish. I have only taken him to worlds that resemble this world, like Windenburg, kind of the same vibe. You know, it's like he traveled a little ways, but not like super far away. Like we didn't go to the desert or the tropics or anything. Somebody had mentioned a little bit of a hack with that where you can use debug mode to put the fishing spots out. I, I think maybe we'll just take Runar and Edward on a little fishing trip today and he could teach Edward to fish because Edward has not fished yet as far as I know. Too bad, Eleanor. No cards for you. I asked you to do something. They just veto the sim god. Like, they'll just straight up veto and say, nope, sorry. Folk, are you going to give her a bath? Good job. What a good man. Oh, she's refusing to let her change her diaper? Oh, man. Hug it out over being defiant. Let's see how that works. Girl, you need a bath. Like, you are disgusting. Mom's like, okay. That's okay. I know you have big feelings, but please let me change your diaper now. Those nasty girl. There we go. Oh my gosh, a goldfish. <laughs> that's not, that's not really his birthday. Sorry. Sorry, Sister Anne. I have bamboozled you. I've bamboozled you big time. Because Arunar, it's not actually his birthday. He has the mood lit and everything. And... Aw, your birthday gift from family is on its way, arriving via mail sometime soon. Be on the lookout. Well, that's an amazing advancement for the times. Runar has a pristine reputation. Runar, Runar, what you got? Oh, what do you think of this adventure, Sir Edward? Yay or nay on the fishing. You have not made your feelings known yet. Oh, look at the little eyebrow. Oh my gosh, look at his little eyebrow. I almost didn't catch it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, what a cutie. Come on, Runar, make it happen. Get that aspiration. Runar's run out of bait. Runar? No, don't you dare leave. I don't even care if you pee your pants. There has got to be something decent here because... This is this Glimmer Brook? There has to be something special in this water. Are we going to have to like really travel to get this final fish? Why in the heck is your responsibility going down? <sighs> we did not get it, y'all. We did not get it. We're bringing home a little bit of a paycheck, but we did not get it. I am 
so mad right now because I don't know how to make this happen for him. Why are these always in the air like this? They, they're, they're throwing them like in the air. What in the Hades is going on? So weird and silly. So silly. Come over here and hug your sister. She's mean, but hug her anyways. Wasn't she the one who was biting, <laughs> biting and kicking her? Oh, Frida. Oh, no. You had a potty accident. That's okay, honey. You'll get it next time. Where's your dad at? You'll be okay. You'll get it next time. Dad will tell you. You're doing so good trying on your own. Oh, just do what I told you to do. I swear. Oh, my gosh. Fuck. So now he can't tell her she's going to be okay? What is it under? <sighs> okay, give her a praise. Samza, good boy. Oh, she's such a brat. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> if that doesn't sum up Elfrida, I don't know what does. That, that's... <laughs> That's her. Oh no, new family dynamic difficult. Elfrida and Eleanor have a difficult family dynamic. They'll be mean to each other more often, can easily become bitter with each other, and intentionally neglect social calls. <sighs> oh! But then they hug two seconds later? What? <sighs> <laughs> Talking about his fishing trip. I taught him how to fish. He's got the basics down. Um, you're probably going to have to do a little bit more teaching, but for now, he's got it. He can, he can, he caught, he caught a couple of, he caught a fish. So we will mount that fish and we will put his fish somewhere. There we go. A little memento. Grandpa mounted your fish for you. So we have like a ton of money in flowers, you guys. If I sold them now, we would be set for a while. Yeah. Flowers. We will put these in here. These in here. We'll sell this. Sell these. Whoa. That's one sim. One sim's inventory. Let's keep some flowers if we have a holiday or something. Lots of honey. Wow. Two of them. Floating baked apples and floating... And you can't do anything. They won't let you move it. They're just like... I don't understand. I don't know what's happening. Lassie is not pregnant. So, let's have these two do a little woohoo. It's been a while. It's been a long, long while. Runar is still kind of like, you know... You've managed to survive this far. I'm kind of not wanting to risk your life anymore. But he loves his wife. So, you know, every once in a while, we need to have a little something something going on. Nope, it ain't ready to come out yet. So he's got himself a frog. Cute. A little frog for Sir Edward. I would put it in his room, but there ain't nowhere to put it in there. Pleasantly satisfied. Oh, good. I'm glad, Harmony. You know, every once in a while, he just wants to show you that he loves you. In all seriousness, though, it would be a pretty dangerous pregnancy for Harmony at her age. 
All right, let's go see Sawyer. I, I'm failing at this Runar thing. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. And I still have a random rug, and we still have a random light hanging right here. <laughs> I'm doing what I can, okay? I'm doing what I can right now. All right, to Sawyer we shall go. So, Sawyer and Daisy, let's talk about it. So, it was pointed out in the comments a couple episodes ago that Sawyer was being mean to her, like, in between the interactions that I was doing. I actually did not notice that at that time. However, during our last episode, he was being just ridiculously mean. Now, Sawyer is an erratic sim. So my understanding is that he's going to continue to do that. And it doesn't matter really what sim it is. So in my brain right now, I'm just wondering how he's ever going to have a successful relationship. Oh. I don't know. I know people feel like this is a fo like I'm forcing this right now oh. too much, but I, d I don't know that he's going to be able to Should be any happier with anybody else. Now, from Daisy's perspective, I'm not sure why she's being the way she's being. So she's all about affection, kissing, woohooing, all of that. But she doesn't want to talk about marriage. Now, she is technically a teen. Uh, that could have something to do with it, I suppose. But we're going to bring Sawyer here. He was at school. Naughty boy. Not supposed to be going to school. He's going to come. We're going to see how they're getting along. After a few days of mourning, she's still pretty dang sad. Uh, let's try to crack a joke. Um, give her a plato more platonic kiss. Let's see how everything's coming along with them. Now, I'm not going to say, like... I don't know. I'm just feeling like Sawyer's probably not going to find anyone he's going to get along with better, right? They have amazing compatibility. They're like two perfect pieces of a puzzle. They just clicked. Click. Based on their preferences, they have the highest level of compatibility. Now, the problem seems to be that Sawyer is erratic and he's being mean to her occasionally. I'm just not 100% sure why she is being resistant to, like being married to him they are married though so her brother forced them to get married because sawyer got her pregnant remember and if you missed it sawyer got her pregnant so daisy's brother forced them to get married which sawyer was all about it but daisy was not she was very resistant to the idea of marrying sawyer then the baby died now we have the baby's death recorded as unknown cause there is some speculation that Daisy really didn't want the baby and she wasn't really expecting that, you know, Damon was going to force them to get married. And in that moment of desperation after giving birth, she may have done something. We don't know. We don't know. It's a mystery how that baby died. See, there he goes. There he goes. I'm talking and not paying attention. He's being ridiculously mean to her. Okay. Um. They are like. They keep grilled cheeses. You fit in perfect, Daisy. What's the problem? But no, they're getting their each other's faces crossed out in their thoughts. Oh my gosh. Go on. Okay, I don't think there's any other teens in the world right now, but I'm kind of curious how he would get along with someone else. I don't know what to make of these two. They're currently married, so I don't know, but I'm going to guess that Sawyer's feeling quite rejected by her at the moment, but he's also being very mean. I don't blame Daisy. Ooh, Sir Damon, so handsome. Hi. Are you still wondering what you've done? Damon's wife, the mother of these two children, passed away. So, you know, 
it was a whole thing. So Daisy was thinking about just leaving, but the fact that her brother was left with these kids compelled her to stay. Let's see. I'm going to do something drastic. Look at insult. Stop. Yes, you may tell a funny story. All right, let's go see. Oh my gosh, there's more. Oh, you all are killing me. You're killing me. All right, let's see. Um, try to grab somebody who was on here early. These two are super interesting. Maximus became a raging drunk after the devastating loss of his prized son to the war and his wife to the famine. All that is left of the Tallmore family is Addison and her father. He begins to resent her and wishes to marry her off so he can be left alone in his misery. She desires to find the man of her dreams that is nothing like her father. Well, um... Okay, K-Dreamer26, we're gonna plop these kiddos down in the world. Um... Problem is, they're gonna have to move in with someone else. Go move in with Baron. <laughs> go move in with the Baron of the town. It's no big deal. Every time I go, I don't care about your principal call. Like, do not, don't you dare pick up that phone and call it. Answer that principal. Oh, he has a horrible relationship with Damon. This is just not. All right, Sawyer, you... Oh, my God. I don't have a choice. No, we're not answering that call. We are going to go get ourselves into some trouble, perhaps. Oh, he lost his hair. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> this is what happens when people use CC and I just drop Sims in. Hopefully, she's not naked. I don't know. This wasn't in my plan. When I have told you all before, I very, very, very much let the game decide how things are going to go, right? She probably flipping went to school. But school's out at three. Go see if she's inside. Uh, let's do a friendly introduction and let's just see if he starts doing mean interactions. She's partially naked. Okay, hold on, y'all. It's Quinaru Baloof. Quinar. It's a mean girl. Yachts. Jessica. And then we'll kind of let them do their own thing. Let's see what happens if he flirts with her. Maybe they're new in town and they don't know that he's in this mess that he's in currently. She liked it. Okay. Uh, what a bad, bad boy we are being. Well, she's leaving. <laughs> He kind of followed her. All right, come, come back out here with them. I want to see what you do on your own. Are you even gonna chat with her? Barba, delay, yerba, tofu. Weebstana, hishina. She just keeps walking away. He's being bad. He's being so, so bad. But he's not feeling bad about it. He's feeling highly confident right now. Bravo, Adina. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Ask what happened. What do you mean? Polino. <laughs> Kiss up. 7A? <laughs> nope he's going to insult her he is going to insult her he's going 
He's very flirty after being mean to her. Um, they have a rift. See what I mean, y'all? I uh, he's supposed to have ten pregnancy tries. How is he going to have a relationship with anybody? Addison's not really taking it as like badly. Oh no, she has the she had the no Sawyer thing <laughs> bubble. You guys, I don't know. I think he's just got to be like in an unhappy relationship. He's going to be nasty to everybody. I don't really know how to. I don't want you all to feel like I'm forcing it. So I figured I'd give him another shot. He's never really flirted with anybody else. The fact that he has amazing compatibility with Daisy makes me want to stick that out. But they are going to have a rough, rough marriage. I love Sawyer and this family would not have raised somebody that would cheat with treat women badly but he is doing that autonomously on his own i have never really seen him be mean to anybody else anybody else long story short i think we have to stick it out with daisy and just see kind of how things go but we're going to be operating under the assumption that they're miserable in their marriage I don't know. They're married now. They have not consummated the marriage. So if we go back and consummate the marriage, then he's kind of stuck in it unless something happens to Daisy. I'm not even sure if she wants to woohoo with him. He came back very flirty. Something is bothering Sawyer's crush. Yeah, Daisy's his crush too. Er, uh, yeah, still. He's still crushing hard on his wife. She's in a better mood than she was when we left. He's kissing her autonomously. He is autonomously kissing her. Red alert, red alert. He was just cheating on her five seconds ago. Are they going to actually follow through and kiss? That was an autonomous kiss. I'm going to leave that edited in so you can see. The, the romance is 100%. The romance and attraction is 100% there. Okay, they're best friends now. Is he going to insult and be mean to his best friend? I don't know. We're going to just... We're rolling with it, you guys. I gave it a quick shot just to see if there was going to be... And it is a side household, so we're trying for a baby, and there will be a pregnancy. So Daisy still does not want kids, though. I think now that she's married, I almost feel like maybe we should change it to neutral. Because I think the main reason she didn't want them before four is neutral let's let time and fate i would do that if they were if they were a household that we were playing with all the time i am going to change it to neutral because i think the main reason she was upset about that other baby was that she was young and not married now of course this marriage was forced but look at this coy smiles and flirtatious jokes have set the tone for romance a special connection So, yeah, they're doing okay as long as he's not being mean to her. Friends in a time of loss. So that brought them closer together that he was there for her when Sigrid died. Still crushing on her. Daisy feels deeply connected to him. So I think if we can get him to stop being mean to her then we're golden i mean honestly that's basically the problem right now it's like he's only doing it to i've never seen him do that with any other sim except for daisy until 
we just uh what was her name oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> what was her name addison addison was the second sim i've ever seen him do that to and yeah well we have tomorrow and that is the last day of 1326 tomorrow's the last day of 1326 so I think we're going to stick with the person he has amazing compatibility with. He is spectacular woo-hooing. Nothing is more satisfying. Death is a part of life and Sawyer feels the joy of living when he is around a sim he adores. Maybe the best friend thing helped. So forgetting the fact that he just went and flirted with another girl, maybe he had to kind of figure out how he feels. You know, maybe maybe he's like, dang, no, I need to get home to Daisy. Like, maybe I should stop being so mean to her. I don't know. That's that for now, y'all. I don't. <laughs> this storyline will hopefully continue to be interesting and engaging. Sawyer needs to repair his relationship with Damon, that is for sure, but he has not been mean to her since we've been back. He autonomously, autonomously kissed her instead of insulting her, so I don't know. I feel okay about it. I hope that everybody else does as well. I think we're going to have these guys have a quick little morning woohoo sesh. Um... I know, she's really got to pee, you know? It is what it is. Just get her done real quick. We're trying to learn better hygiene habits. And let me tell you what, I have come up with a little bit of an interesting twist for that when we do our own little challenge that... So I wasn't really going to create an actual challenge, okay? I, I That wasn't really, like, my plan, right? But it can't be too easy, but like hygiene, all of those things, it is going to be a historical challenge. So you have to kind of figure those things out as you go and learn about hygiene and medicine and everything. And then that impacts other aspects of the game because we're not following any specific like history. We're going to create our own. What is history? It's the story of how we have developed over time. And we're going to be developing throughout time and creating our own story. So, yeah, I will be revealing more about that soon. We also had a comment about the merch idea that I briefly mentioned during the last episode. I did design a t-shirt, a cheese t-shirt. I will be revealing that soon. I'm getting the sample. I need to t make sure it's good quality. I am very picky about my t-shirts. I wanted it to be soft and I wanted to have inclusive sizing. This was a challenge. Folk went back to bed after his woohoo. <laughs> he was like, and it was good. It was a good woohoo. Was it good for you too? Good. Okay. Um. So yeah, we have birthdays. They're going to be children, you guys. Our little babies are going to be children. Should we just do it now and be done with it? Look at these proud grandparents. Aw, if only Riona was here to see this. We're going to have more children in the house, which means we have more people to do chores. <laughs> I mean... Not the only reason I'm excited, but it helps significantly. I'm just going to do it now. I'm ready for bed. Elwine has aged up. Another long-haired bean. They love their long... No! <laughs> Not Elwine! He's been flying under the radar this whole time. Oh my gosh so we'll make him a social butterfly a mean one so fun okay <laughs> l wine why would you be meanie that's not cool bro okay 9 and 19 okay l wine is going to survive honey are you going to age up girl Hello. 
Okay. Elfrida has aged up and she's a bookworm. Okay, I had written this down. Was she the one? She was the one who liked books and stuff. I wrote it down. Elwine's like a, was like a singer baby and Elfrida loves books. Oh, that is kind of cute. Okay. But I don't know that it really fits her you know um i mean they don't really get to focus on their aspirations at all so all right child whoa there's a rope in your face all right oh my gosh okay oh i forgot i have to do cast yet oh man all right nine and nineteen nine and nineteen Away. Oh, okay. Sweet. So I have a distinct lack of long hair for boys. So he's got this little bun thing. I think Felix has it. It might be Felix's hair. Not sure. But wait until you see Elfrida. I have a new favorite sim, y'all. New favorite sim. Look at this angel, this sweet baby, not. I am so in love with her and I cannot wait to see where she goes in life. And I hope she lives because she's going to be so much fun story wise. Um, definitely going to be another rebel of the family. I cannot wait for her to meet Mare. Oh my gosh, we're going to have so much fun. And with that, I'm actually going to leave this one so that I can get this video up ASAP. And I want to thank you all so much for being here with me, putting up with me, sticking with it this whole time. You all are awesome. I appreciate you so much and I will see you in the comments. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.